We're gonna find the area of the shape below. So if you look at the picture, we got two diagonal sides right here that are perpendicular. And we also have, because these are going to be congruent, a pair of congruent sides. So if we got those things, then we got ourselves a kite. And to find the area of a kite, it is just one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Doesn't really matter which one of these you call your D1 or D2. Let's focus first on this green part right here. We're gonna take this into little pieces. That green part, I'm gonna redraw at the bottom so it's just easier to explain. So what do we got here? We got a 90 degree angle, two congruent sides. Hopefully you remember previous chapters and this is kind of a clue right here. Anytime I see root two and you got a pair of congruent sides with a 90 degree angle, you got yourself a 45, 45, 90. And what do you know about a 45, 45, 90? If we call the legs X and X, because those are the same, then the hypotenuse is X root two. That's the relationship. And luckily this is easy because you can kind of tell what X is. X is going to equal three meters. So now we can label that in our main shape above. Three meters, three meters, and this one's three meters. So why does that help us? Well, we can just add these two up later and we'll get one of the diagonals. But now I need to focus on this side right here so I can get the second diagonal. And how do we get that? Well, let's focus on another triangle in red. And if you look at that red triangle, we just unlocked a new piece of information right here. We got that as three meters. So let me redraw that so it's easier to explain once again. There's my red triangle. And once again, I got this based off the green triangle. So you can find this piece right here using the Pythagorean theorem. But if you were able to recognize this special right triangle, because you got a 90 here and you got a hypotenuse that's twice the side length, then you really got yourself a 30, 60, 90. So in a 30, 60, 60, 90, the one across 30 is going to represent my X. The hypotenuse is twice X, so that's how we got 6M. And the one across 60, the one we're trying to find, is X root 3. Well, luckily, I have my X right here. My X is 3. You don't have to do Pythagorean theorem because that's going to be 3 root 3 if you remember that. Awesome, now we got both our diagonals and we can now plug it into the formula. We're almost done. So the area of a kite is one half. Focus on the first diagonal. It is just three and three. Three plus three is six. The second diagonal is a little different because we can't combine those terms. So we're gonna write that as three root three plus three. All right, let's simplify this and we got ourselves our area. One half times six is just three. And all I gotta do is distribute that three on the outside and I end up getting nine root three plus three times three is nine. And don't forget meters squared because we're finding area. Hopefully that helped. If it did, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.